Why, hello there, father. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? LD Childity here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. Snow White looks like she's about to throw up. Probably because she is heavily pregnant with her first child. Yes, one of the dwarves is on the way. And the first thing that I wanted to do is nothing to do with the babies, but I realized that you can actually fertilize this bush. So I kind of want to know what that means. So let's just observe. She's going to climb inside. Oh my gosh. Do I hear peeing? Well, a pregnant woman's got to go somewhere. Ew, the bush is all stinky. Oh no, will it stay stinky? Nobody's ever going to want to woohoo in there with me ever again. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. The love bush dream is dead. Ah, well, let's just get on with having a baby. So there's actually some good news. Since I recorded the last episode, they have added toddlers back into the game. So the babies will grow into toddlers and they'll be super cute. Also in the comments of the last video, somebody suggested that each time we get a new baby, we should buy them a different gnome. And I think that idea is just fantastic. But we also need to kit this place out ready for babies because at the moment there is no cot or baby changing station or whatever the heck else you need for a baby. I don't actually know. Also, the fridge is stinky, I'm pretty sure. Ew, there's green gas emitting from the fridge. I think we should clean it out. Disgusting. You disgust me. Why she just made herself, uh, I've made a terrible mistake. I just made a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> well, pregnancy cravings, you know. She was just really craving some straight up bread. I wonder how long she'll be pregnant for. I actually have no idea. At the moment, she looks like the baby is about ready to burst out, but who knows? I have no idea how much more alien-like she will become as the pregnancy continues. It is such a weird shape. She looks so weird. This is not how I imagined pregnancy. Okay, so in her pregnant state, she needs to work hard doing loads of paintings because we need a lot of money to buy all the baby stuff. So you better paint some good things. I'm just gonna have to keep painting and selling them and hopefully we'll keep making profit. Oh my gosh, she's just getting more and more pregnant as this goes on. I hope she manages to make enough money before a baby pops out of her. Oh, that's a cute painting. I kind of want to keep it for the baby. Okay, let's go to bed. Hopefully the baby will stay inside her for the time being. <gasps> Wait, what the heck? How does she just suddenly need to pee so bad? Oh my gosh, is she gonna pee herself? What the heck? Oh my goodness, you guys. Pregnancy is really hard. She barely has any energy and she's hungry all the time and she just keeps peeing. I don't know if this is a baby or some kind of demon that has possessed her and he's just making her pee all the time. Now I see why it said she was eating for two because she literally has to eat double to even satisfy her hunger. That's it, I am calling in reinforcements. That baby daddy better get himself over here right now. Okay, he'll be right over so that's good. Oh my gosh, he literally came running the second I asked him to. Come on in, feel the baby. Oh my gosh, I am a mess right now, just in my pajamas. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Feel it, feel my huge baby bump. Yeah, you put that in there. She really needed this social interaction, so this is really good. Oh no, the bump's inside him! Oh dear. Okay, let's invite him over because the baby could be born any minute. I actually have no idea how long this takes. Oh no, my plants are dead. Okay. We have to make sure these live. Okay, so he is going right to bed, which is fine by me because I have a busy day of painting. I think we almost made enough money now. Let's start trying to kit out the bedroom. So I might try and move this. Oh, oh no, that's a bad idea. Let's just keep that right where it is. Oh, look how cute all this stuff is, but I can't really afford it, so it's not super necessary. I'm really confused. I don't know anything about babies. Where do they sleep? Okay, so we need one of these bassinets to put the baby in, and then we'll also need a high chair, so I'm gonna go put that down here with the kitchen table. What other baby essentials do I need? I think we'll need a potty for when the baby grows older. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl yet. And then I think that's all we desperately need. I'm gonna buy a gnome once the baby is born, which could be today, who knows? I don't, I have absolutely no idea. But I can't imagine she's gonna get any bigger than that. Like she's already huge. How much bigger can she get? So, okay, where is he at? He's just chilling, watching some TV. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, you may miss the birth of the child, but okay, that's fine. He was pretty grumpy anyway. Oh my gosh, she's gone into labor. 
Snow White is bursting with anticipation. No! Oh my gosh! But he just left! Oh no! Okay, we need to get him back. Oh my gosh, thank goodness he's here. Tell him we've gone into labor. Oh gosh, help me! There's a child trying to burst out of me. How do I make the baby come out? Oh, have baby at hospital or have baby? Should we just have the baby? Let's just have the baby right here. Right in front of him. Yeah, stand back. It's about to happen. Come and watch me. Wait, she's going upstairs. Okay, are you coming? Like, come watch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's gonna have the baby all alone. Wait, what? Is she just gonna pop the baby out right into the crib? Please tell me this isn't happening. <gasps> it's a girl! Snow White just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. Okay, so luckily, you guys suggested a load of names in the comments. I think my favorite suggestion was Apple because obviously everybody knows Snow White has a thing with apples. So she's gonna be called Apple Disney <laughs> because Snow White's last name is Disney. I love it. Let's do it. Where, where did the baby go? <gasps> oh my gosh, magic! That was absolutely magical. Where did it go? What? Oh, it's in there, thank goodness. Oh, how cute. Oh, look! It's kind of hideous. It looks like a demon. It was a demon. <gasps> I've got an idea. I'm gonna put a selfie of myself right in front of the baby so it can stare at my face in four identical photos. That one's really blurry. Okay, I'm gonna take this time to watch some TV because having a baby apparently was not fun and my fun meter is very low. Is there a channel about how to look after a baby? Because I think I need that. Wait, if you're here, who's with the baby? No! Oh, it's all stinky. Okay, is the baby happy? Or maybe he's feeding. Let's give it a little breast, a little breasticle to feed on. Okay, okay, that was... Yep, she's actually doing that, which is beautiful and totally natural. Wait, wait, what? It doesn't like me? What did I do wrong? Okay, he's gonna get going, which is fine, because I have totally got this. I don't need any help. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully it's happy and it likes me now, so I'm gonna age it up into a toddler. Let's just watch this miraculous transformation before my very eyes. Wow, this is real Disney magic here. Toddlers! They spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. Ah, okay, so as you know, we have to choose a bad trait. So let's go for Clingy and hope that this isn't a disaster. Oh, look! She has like blue hair. So let's teach her the basic needs because these are really important things to know. I love how she thinks that saucepans and toilets are really important things to know when you're a toddler. Learn faster, child. Can she sleep in there now? Oh gosh, I don't think she can sleep in this bassinet anymore. We need to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it in the corner because there will inevitably be more babies. But for now, we have to get her like a proper bed. So let's look for a little kid's bed. Oh, that's adorable. Do they have it in any different colours? Oh, <gasps> that one's even cuter. Okay, maybe I'll get two, you know, just in case we end up having two babies. Oh, let's get her some toys too. I totally forgot about that. Let's give her a ducky. Oh, she can play with it on her own. Wow. Oh, look at her little imagination making shapes around her. That is so cute. But mama needs some food. So you stay playing up there and I will make some mac and cheese oh thank goodness the mac and cheese is ready now uh let's put apple in the chair here oh we have to give her special food <gasps> peas yogurt peanut butter jelly sandwich oh that cereal looks delicious and pink i'm gonna give her that okay I, she needs to be in the chair to be able to feed her it and she has to carry her because apple can't go down the stairs on her own <laughs> Wow, toddlers are pretty big. I didn't even realize. Now, you sit and eat. Please tell me you can eat on your own. Wow, she finished way before I did. This is really awkward. Okay, okay, let's pick her up and I'm gonna take her upstairs and I'm gonna show her how to use the potty. Yeah, you sit on it. Ah, yes. Good. Now, go poo poo. Make bam bam in the toilet thing. Wow, she's taking quite a while. What the heck is going on here? She still hasn't gone yet? Oh, there we go. She definitely let something out. 
Oh, disgusting. Oh my goodness! Okay, now she's not even tired really, but I'm gonna send her to bed because Snow is very, very tired. There you go, those are some hideous pajamas. Look at those, little cowboy shirt and some pink pants. Oh, this is really cute. And look at the selfies of me up here. <laughs> now you better not wake me up. Oh my gosh, she's awake. Oh no, what, she just woke up on her own. Where is she going? Where is she going? What's she doing? Oh no! She's just crying for no reason. Look at us in our pajamas. We're just adorable. Yes, we are. Now, make a poop. Make me proud. Oh my gosh, Akira just called and said he wants to come over. Yes, of course you can. Come and see our daughter. And while you're here, we can get started on baby number two. Are you coming in or are you just gonna stand out there? I'm a little bit busy watching our baby poop. Wait, why is she going up more? How much higher can her skills in pooping go? Let's let her wander because she needs to do that. Oh no, oh my gosh, no, not out the door. Come back, okay, I'm just gonna follow her. She's allowed out as long as she doesn't go really far. Oh gosh, she's going. Luckily, there appears to be no danger around here. It looks like a pretty safe area, so it should be okay. Oh, well, why is she a rainbow? What's happening? Wow. What's, I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty magical. This is goals right here. Oh no, I almost forgot. We need a gnome. So for every child, I'm gonna put a gnome in the garden out here. Oh my goodness, they're so adorable. I'm gonna go for this little pink one. <gasps> He's a little bear. I love him. I'm gonna put him right here in front of my dying plants to remind me to keep them and my children alive. Now let's carry on making more rainbows. Wait, what's she doing? <gasps> She's reading. Oh, this is a really cute moment between mother and daughter and he's just there. Nope, never mind, not anymore. He has gone to the kitchen. Okay, is she just laughing out loud at the children's book? Oh my gosh, she's going for a wonder. Can she go up the stairs yet? She can! Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, how cute. Right, try for baby number two. Oh my gosh, do I really want to do this? Do I? No, 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 I've changed my mind. No baby, just sleep. Oh, she's very sad. She had a nightmare. Oh no, okay, wake up. She's very sad. She had a nightmare. It was very scary. Oh, that was interesting. What do you want? Why are you just stood there? I told you, there's no more baby making today. As soon as Apple is a child, I think then we'll start for another baby because at least she can kind of take care of herself. <gasps> Apple can name toys now? How do I name it? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's called Mr. Snuffles. Okay, I'm gonna pick one of the name suggestions that you guys left for the baby and I'm gonna name it after the rubber duck instead. Prince Charming. That would have been a pretty funny name for the baby if it was a boy, but now he's a rubber duck, so almost as good. Okay, so for the future babies that we get, I kind of wanted to try and get the fertility reward, which will apparently increase the chance of having twins and triplets. So we need to save up these points so that we can afford it. And where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, it's 3,000. So we have 930 right now. And how do I get those? Do we complete these? So let's complete a few of these. First of all, practice speaking in front of a mirror. So let's do that. Fertilize a bush, okay. If you say so. Okay, so apparently leveling up the skills is really important. So I'm gonna keep trying to level these up as high as I can get them. And if I do, then she will get some bonuses for when she's growing up. She'll be able to learn skills faster and stuff like that. Wow, look at her imagination, it's getting better. Those pictures are like way better than before. She can read toddler books now. Oh my goodness, let's get her a little toddler bookshelf. This place is gonna be a baby paradise when I'm done with it. 
two hours later. Okay, that is the last of the toddler skills maxed out. I'm really proud of myself that I did this for the first baby. It was really freaking hard. Don't think the other dwarves are gonna be quite this perfect. So before we age her up into a child for the end of today's episode and see what she looks like, I kind of want to see what her other toddler outfits look like because at the moment I've only seen her everyday outfit and her pyjamas. Let's see her party outfit. That'd be really cute. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Let's see it. Oh, that is cute. I like the different colored leggings. Can she dance or anything? Let's have her run around. Oh, she's so cute. That is an adorable dress. Kind of want one in my size. So let's see what other outfits she's got. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's her formal wear. Okay, now it's time to age her up. So, oh, we can have a birthday party for her. Let's plan a birthday party. It's a surprise party, that's why I made her wait outside by the tree. Okay, so it's Apple's birthday and we're going to invite myself and the father, Akira, and that is all. <laughs> I'm not going to bother getting a caterer or a mixologist or anything. And, ooh, we could have the party somewhere else, but I think I just want to have it at home because I want to bake my own cake. The Disney residence. Okay, let's do it. The party has already started and the cake is not ready. Okay, let's start by baking the cake. Oh, we could we, we could have a hamburger cake, a chocolate cake, a white cake, or a strawberry cake. Strawberry cake's the cutest. That's what we're gonna go for. So you get baking that. Uh, we need her to be playful and stuff. So when Akira gets here, I'm gonna have them play together. What you doing over there? Are you coming in? Why are you waiting over there? That's kind of weird, dude. Just come to the party. What is he doing out there? Oh no, now she has to come all the way out here to talk to him. <laughs> Look at her go! <laughs> Why hello there, father. Are you enjoying the party? How's the cake coming along? <gasps> the cake's ready. Okay, let's add the birthday candles. While they are outside. Oh my gosh, she's a witch! Well, I'm certainly very happy about this. Okay. Oh, that is just so cute. <laughs> Okay, apparently I have to make drinks, so I'm gonna send Snow White to do that. I might need a bar. Let's see, what's the cheapest one we can get? Oh, that is so cute! <gasps> this is so birthday. Okay, we definitely need like a cute little garden area over here, where we have all the parties. This is actually quite a big garden, there's a lot of room for expansion here. Oh, where is he going? Okay, interesting. Okay, let's have Snow White make some drinks then. Make her favorite drink. Oh my gosh, he is not gonna eat the cake. No! Akira! Oh, that's cereal. <laughs> I thought he'd ruined the birthday. Wow, that was close. Does he know that that's for Apple and not for adults? But, oh well. Oh, is she tired or something? Oh, she needs to go party. Oh dear. The birthday sim may fall asleep in the middle of the party, which is not good. Oh no, wait. Okay, now it's really important that they blow out the candles now. Light the candles. Light the candles. It's time for the candles. Oh my gosh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Quick, quick, quick. Yay, she did it. The main goal has been completed. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't know what she became. Okay, so now we need to pick a trait to replace the clingy one. As you guys know, I have to pick a negative trait. So I think the first one we'll go for is going to be gloomy. And she's going to be like a gloomy artist <laughs> called Apple. So let's see what she looks like. Oh, dang, girl. What is that hairstyle? She looks like Lady Sovereign. We might need to give you a little makeover. But happy birthday. Yay, birthday pack complete. Bronze medal earned. Not bad. And he has gone. The father has left. Okay, so all in all, not a great party, and now everyone feels pretty bad about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more, and if you have any tips, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you next time.